So, patuloy nating pag-aralan ano, ang ating uh, series of studies sa libro ni Matthew and uh, nasa Matthew chapter 23 na po tayo. At yun po yung ating pinag-aralan. And uh, we are, again, we, we, will, we will look at Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 8 to 12. Ano? Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 8 to 12. And This afternoon, pag-aralan po natin ang guidelines para sa mga uh, leaders na hinirang ng Diyos. We will talk about biblical guidelines for biblical leaders. Okay, pag-aralan po natin yan. Ano po yung mga katangian? No, last, uh, last Saturday, we talked about yung mga katangian ng mga false teachers, no? mga katangian ng mga false uh, leaders. mga nagpapanggap na mga uh, alagad ng Diyos pero hindi naman sila totoong alagad ng Diyos. Okay? And so Jesus, as we will uh, talk about this, uh, Jesus was on His, I think, remaining two days before na makrucify po siya. Before siya may crucify. So this would be Uh, Wednesday. No? Kung si Kristo po ay crucif- crucify ng Friday, ito pong account na ito, yung kwento na ito, yung nangyari ng Wednesday. So, two days before He was crucified, He was confronting itong mga uh, false religious leaders like the Pharisees and uh, the scribes. You know? During the time of the Lord Jesus Christ sa Israel, Merong mga mga leaders no tawag sa kanila mga Jewish leaders, religious leaders na sa iba't ibang mga grupo. Uh, grupo ng mga nasa eskriba, mga scribes at grupo ng mga Pharisees, no? mga Pharisee. And uh, during the last days of Christ, Jesus confronted them. Of course, gusto nila i-confront si Kristo kasi gusto nga nilang iakusahan si Kristo sa mga bagay na uh, parang na i maipapriso ma, nila si Kristo ano and that's why they they uh, <clears throat> plotted questions like uh, kailan sino po kami magbigay ng tax kay Caesar ba kailangan magbigay ng tax or um, ano pa yung mga uh, sinasabi or mga accusations nila kay Kristo but in all of those um, sila po ay sinagot ni Kristo In chapter 22, last verse, sabi doon, hindi na po silang uh, nag-ask muli sa kay Kristo. They, they rejected the Lord, they left the Lord Jesus Christ, at hindi na sila nakipagkwentuhan or nag-ask ng question kay Kristo. Dahil hindi man sila makasagot kung si Kristo ang yung magtanong <clears throat> sa kanila. And so, in verse number 23, or chapter 23, dito na po, si Kristo nag-pronounce, no? nag-pronounce, nag-denounce ano, sa mga Pharisees and scribes. And dito po makita natin sa, sa chapter 23, the seven woes, ano? seven judgment that God or the Lord Jesus Christ has uh, pronounced to the scribes and Pharisees. But before He pronounced, we will study it next Saturday, the seven woes to the Jewish leaders, to religious leaders, Jesus, before that, talks about uh, characters. You know? the, the difference between false leaders okay, and true leaders. Leaders that are not, of course, sanctioned by the Lord Jesus Christ. And leaders who are true. You know? They are called by the Lord Jesus Christ. So last week, we talked about the characters of false religious leaders. At sabi pa nga natin, okay, ano po yung kanilang karakter? They wanted to be what? They wanted to have the, the leadership. They wanted to have their names mentioned, greetings in the public place. Okay? Uh, hindi ko na ata nailagay dito. No? Yung uh, chapter 23 verses 1 to 7. Okay? Because they wanted to have the seats in, in the feast. Sabi pa nga ni Kristo. And they wanted to be, and they demanded actually to be called leaders or spiritual leaders or teachers. But then, sabi ni Kristo, 
sa mga disciples, itong sabi ni Cristo, verse number 12. Verse number 8 to 12. Sabi ni Cristo, kung ang mga Pharisees and scribes they wanted and they really wanted to be called, demanded to be called teachers, rabbi, leaders, okay, fathers, pero sabi ni Cristo sa mga disciples, but you, sabi niya, yung you dyan, na refer sa mga disciples. Okay, so ang setting is, there were, there were scribes and Pharisees, there were also just uh, Israelites, you know, and there, there were those who are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus, He told the Pharisees, the scribes, they are this, they are like this, they, they wanted to be uh, recognized, to be greeted, but Jesus, ni changed ni Cristo yung kanyang audience, you know? from the Pharisees and the scribes, He spoke to the disciples, but you, sabi ni Cristo, this is what your, your character, your attitude should be. So, kung ito po yung attitude ng mga Pharisees and scribes, verse number 1 to 7, so verse number 8 to 12 should be the character ng mga totoong leaders ng Diyos. Mga totoong leaders ng Diyos. Ano pong mga characters okay, na makita natin sa mga totoong alagad ng Diyos? Verse number 8 to 12, But you are not to be called rabbi. Okay? For you have one teacher. Rabbi means teacher. You know? For you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. Okay? And call no man your father on earth. Now this uh, father means in the young father in the family, but this is more of a spiritual father. The, the spiritual father is in view, in a context. So, uh, call no man your Father, okay, on earth. For you have one Father who is in heaven. Neither be called instructors or leaders. For you have one instructor or leader. Instruction, instructor meaning guide, leader. Okay. For you have one instructor or leader. The Christ, you know, Jesus Christ. The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And whoever humbles himself will be Based. Now, what are the characteristics of godly leaders? Okay. What are the characteristics of those leaders that are leading the church of God, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ? Ano pong katangian na dapat makita natin sa buhay nila? Now, merong lima dito na makikita natin sa sinabi ni Cristo from verses number 8 to 12. Number one, o ito pala yung mga mga katangian ng mga false leaders. You know? uh, just a review. You know? They are false representatives of God. They have no integrity. Okay? No integrity meaning kung ano yung sinasabi nila, hindi naman nila sinusunod. They are lords over God's people. They wanted to lead. You know? Pero sila mismo ay hindi man na hindi man makitaan ng uh, sabi doon na mag... Uh, lift ng kanilang mga fingers. You know? They're consumed by self-images. You know? Yung image nila pinaka-importante sa lahat. And they are also proud. You know? They're proud. Itong katangian ng mga false leaders. But what are the guidelines or biblical guidelines, characters for biblical leaders? Ito po, number one. Una na makita natin, sabi ni Kristo sa kanila, Biblical leaders, godly leaders, do not demand to be called teacher. Okay. Hindi po sila nagde-demand you know, to be called teachers. Uh, by the way, Jesus actually was uh, talking about the character and not the office. You know, meaning, he is not talking about, he is not condemning about the, the gift of a teacher. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the talent to teach or the gift to teach. But what he is condemning is the attitude or is the yung nagdedemanda, ano, nagdedemand uh, like uh, the, the Pharisees and the scribes. Why? Because they wanted to be called. You know, sabi ng verse number 8, sabi ni Kriso, 
You are not to be called rabbi or teacher. Why? Because in verse number 7, the Pharisees and the scribes, they wanted to be called what? Teacher. Rabbi. You know, yun po yung gusto nilang uh, title na ibigay ng tao sa kanila, ng mga Jews. You know? At lumalapad yung kanilang mga tenga. Okay? Pag narinig nila yung ganyan. Why? Because for them... They they uh, consider themselves to be the source of truth. And, uh, sila po yung pinanggagalingan ng katotohanan. And because of that, they wanted to be called teacher. Okay? Now, the, the again, the office of a teacher or the gift of a teacher is not in view here, but the attitude of a teacher. Uh, hindi kinukandem ng Panginoon ang mga teacher. But he was condemning the attitude of the teacher that demands like that of the Pharisees. Okay. Now, this is more of knowledge, you know? Kasi sabi nga nila, knowledge is power. So, the scribes, the Pharisees, they have the knowledge. Okay? And that's why, dahil sila po ang source ng, kumbaga, spiritual uh, knowledge, you know? They are the source of spiritual knowledge and that's why when people call them teacher, that means na people are acknowledging them to be the only source of this kind of knowledge. Well, in fact, hindi naman. Ano? Kasi nga, hindi naman sila makasagot nga sa mga tanong ni Kristo. But false leaders will always demand to be called such as this. Okay? Now, again, there is no issue when it comes sa uh, pag, uh, ano, no? pag uh, aral mo ng, for example, uh, uh, mag ka pa, no? mag further study ka pa, like kung natapos mo elementary, wala namang mali pag nag-proceed ka ng high school. Ano? Pag nag-high school ka, wala namang mali pag nag-proceed ka ng college. Nag-college ka, wala, wag, wala namang mali pag nag-proceed ka ng master's. Ano? Pag nag-master's ka, Wala namang mali pag nag-proceed ka ng doctorate mo, for example. Okay? Um, pag nag-doctorate ka na, ano pang after ng doctorate? No? Uh, post-doctoral studies. Ano? And that's why yung iba, mayroon na silang mga PhD, mayroon na silang uh, doctorate uh, degree, and yung sa pangalan nila, mayroong uh, PhD, so-and-so, D, Doctor of Divinity, D, D, so-and-so, DVD, VCD, uh, kung ano pang mga merong uh, uh, andyan, ano? Sa kanilang mga, uh, sa pagkatapos ng kanilang mga pangalan. Now, today, it's very common actually. Uh, especially, in fact, uh, sa atin sa Pilipinas, may mga pastors na palagi silang or nag-aaral din sila at uh, kailang mas more sila sa mga titles okay? and that's why sa Pilipinas may mga pastors na bumibili ng mga titles alam nyo ba yan? may mga pastors na bumibili ng mga, mga titles nila okay? alam ko nga 15,000 eh. may nag-offer sa akin ano? Uh, pastor, uh, nasa field ka naman, ano? marami ka naman experience, ganito, nagtuturo ka naman ng Bible. Actually, pwede ka na mag-apply for PhD. Okay? PhD. Ah, ano bang PhD? Ano? Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of uh, kung ano-ano pang ino-offer nila. Why? Because they wanted to uh, tawag nito, ma madagdagan yung kanilang pangalan. Okay? Yung pangalan ko may dagdag na eh. Sinforoso. Diba? Medyo mahaba-aba na ngayon. Ano? Tapos Salas. May dagdag pa yan. Junior. Ano? So, yung iba may meron pa ibang dagdag doon sa pangalan. Ano? And some pastors call themselves doctor or um, reverend or kung ano pa. Now Now again, walang masama of course kung na especially kung na-earn mo naman, maliban lang kung binili mo lang 'yan, nakaya naman ang bili ka ng title ano para tawagin ka na doctor or 
uh, kung ano-ano pa. Okay? Now, the point of the Lord Jesus Christ is this. It is not a sin to, to, to have further studies or to pursue your studies. What is sin is that <clears throat> you are demanding on people to call you someone. Which, of course, was the case in the Pharisees and the scribes. Why? Because the Pharisees and the scribes, they really wanted to hear people call them doctor or teacher okay? or so-and-so. Okay? But look at that. Bakit kinundina ni Cristo yung ganyang klaseng attitude? Why? Because sabi ni Cristo, you are all what? Brothers. Okay? Lahat tayo, mga kuwan lang naman tayo, no? mga mag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. Regardless of pastor ka man or member ka ng church. But in the sight of God, all of us are brothers. Walang mataas, walang mababa. Okay? Sa harapan ng Diyos. Okay? But each of us is given the, the privilege, you know, some are called to teach, some are called to lead. But that does not mean na yung isang pastor ay mataas na sa member dahil pastor siya. Hindi po. Sa harapan ng Diyos, tayo po ay parehos lang mga anak ng Diyos. Of course, my blessing, of course, kung ikaw po ay uh, nag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon, ano, Merong blessing sa Panginoon kung nag-aaral ka ng salita ng Diyos, di ba? Mas maganda po yun. Pero, at the end of the day, tayo po, minsan kasi sabi natin, ay, ayaw ko makiusap kay pastor, bakit po? Kasi pastor siya, ako member lang. Ano? Nahiya ako. No. Hindi po, kasi tayo po ay pariho lang na mga anak ng Diyos. All of us are students. All of us are, are learners of God. Okay? Of God and His Word, tayo po'y nag-aaral patungkol sa Diyos. So, godly leaders do not demand to be called teachers or doctors. Okay? So, that is one attitude that Jesus Christ condemned. If the Pharisees, the scribes, people in the world... They wanted to be called this kind of titles, ano? but that should not be sa mga leaders ng Diyos. God's leaders should be what? Should know that they are just the same as the people that they are teaching. Well, ako, I'm, uh, I'm pursuing also the, a doctoral level, no? but pagkatapos ko na si maybe ng doctoral studies, I still wanted to be called also or pastor. You know? Hindi doktor, bakit? Hindi naman ako marunong manggamot. Okay. So, it's still good. Of course, my additional knowledge, additional learning for the Church of God, for the people of God. But uh, the truth remains na kumakain pa rin tayo ng kanin. Kumakain pa rin tayo ng manok ano, sa J ano, or sa M. Okay? But the thing is, this is what Jesus or God condemns for those false leaders. But godly leaders, they do not demand to be called teachers, although people, although they are teaching, but they are just, you know, in fact, marami ako mga pastors na kilala. May, may professor ako sa uh, seminary na uh, ma, no, malawak din yung kanyang kaalaman. One time, tinanong ko siya, Sir, bakit hindi po kayo nagpapatawag ng reverend? Sabi niya, ang Diyos lang naman yung reverend. Nasa hanggang ngayon, pastor pa rin. Tawag sa kanya. Okay? Or, prefer nga niya, Juan. Pangalan niya lang. You know? Ulang pastor. Pangalan niya lang. Okay. And uh, in fact, sa seminary na pinanggalingan ko, maski gaano kataas yung pinag-aralan mo doon, ang tawag sa iyo doon, ang tawagan doon is kuya or ate. Maski teacher mo or professor mo. You can call them kuya, ate, ilang doctorate meron sila, ilang PhD meron sila, but students call them ate 
and kuya. Why? Because we are family. We are family in the Lord. Number two, not only godly leaders do not demand, should not demand to be called teachers, godly leaders also should not demand to be called father. Okay? Sabi ni Christo, and call no man your father on earth. Why? Because you have one father. You have one spiritual father and he is God. Okay? He is your spiritual father in heaven. Of course, itong title na ito, um, common din sa, Pharisees, sa time ni Christo sa mga Pharisees and scribes. Why? Because the scribes and Pharisees, they thought that they were the source of spiritual truths. And they wanted to be called what? Spiritual father. Okay? Pero sabi ni Cristo, do not demand to be called father. Do not call anyone in earth your father. Okay, again, this is not your no, family father, but heavenly father or father or spiritual father. Okay? So, sabi ni Cristo, Call no man your father on earth because you only have one father who is in heaven. Again, this gives you know, some kind of a uh, uh, pride you know, sa mga Pharisees and scribes when people, the Jews, Israelites, call them what? The source of spiritual wisdom. The source of spiritual uh, truths. Pero sabi ni Cristo, if your um, if your motive ano, of being called a father boosts your ego, for example, na nag, uh, parang nagiging egoistic tayo, no? nag, uh, nagkikiliti ng mga tainga natin kung tinatawag tayo ng ganyan, sabi ni Cristo, the that could be that can be the the issue ano? the issue is not um the issue is the heart ano? the issue is the ego of those uh spiritual leaders like the scribes and the pharisees demanding to the people of israel to be called fathers or the source of spiritual truth well tayo for example mga pastors di ba tayo po i- Nag, uh, uh, pinanggagalingan or tayo po ginagamit ng Diyos as mouthpiece of spiritual truth. But we are not the source of spiritual truth. The source of spiritual truth is God Himself. Tayo po ay mga vessel lamang. We are not the source. We are the vessel. Now, I think that's the attitude na kinakandem ni Cristo. Okay? Thinking that you are the source, the only source of spiritual truth, well, in fact, you are just a vessel na ginagamit ng Diyos ano, to um, speak the truth of God. Okay? Kasi po, ang lahat ay galing sa Diyos. Okay? Ang lahat po ay Diyos yung pinanggagalingan. Kung baga, tayo po, for example, ano, di ba, um, kung sa kwan sa balon no di ba sa balon nung una nung wala pang tubig poso di ba yung tubig poso yung pump ano na diba? kung nung wala pa noon yung iba nag kwan nang gumagawa lang ng parang tali tapos ihulog sa baba tapos uh, ay kwan no iahon okay Sino po yung pinanggagalingan ng tubig? Yung balde na hinulog doon at magdala ng tubig? Or ang pinanggagalingan ng tubig yung doon mismo sa baba? Okay. Doon mismo sa, sa ilalim, doon yung nanggaling yung tubig. Ang tabo or timba na hinulog mo doon, vessel lang po siya para makakuha ng tubig. At hindi dapat sasabihin ng tabo o timba na ako yung pinanggagalingan ng tubig. Hindi po. Ginamit lang po siya para makakuha ng tubig. At yun po yung punto ni Kristo. 
the, the Pharisees and scribes ay kagaya lang ng mga tabo or timba na ginagamit para kukuha ng tubig. At dapat yun din po ang mga godly leaders. Godly leaders should think, they should always be thankful na ginagamit sila ng Diyos para magkuha ng tubig at may pagbigay sa mga, nga, mga nangangailangan. Ano? And they should not demand anything from, from the Master. Okay? So number three, not only godly leaders should not demand to be called teachers, do not demand to be called fathers because actually, uh, merong isang uh, malaking iglesia na ginagawa yan ngayon. Ano? Diba? Common yan na tinatawag father, father. Okay? Father. Ano? Uh, in fact, grabe pa yung kwan, ano? grabe pa yung uh, respect ano? ng, at, ng ating mga kapatiran o ating mga kaibigan to call these people father. Okay? Grabe sila magrespeto, ano? Pero na-observe ko sa, sa iglesia ng Diyos, sa totoong iglesia ng Diyos, ang mga, for example, sa mga Baptist or Christian churches, kung sa itong church na ito, tinatawag na Father, Father, ano? Pagdating sa church, yung mga members, tinatawag na yung mga pastor nila, Pas, Pas, ano? Okay. Pas, Tor, ano? Tor, Pas, ano? Oh, uh, So, well, of course, that talks about respect. You know? In fact, that's also what uh, uh, is uh, the the command, you know? the the order of the English to to obey and you know? to respect those who have the rule over you. Okay, but of course, that is uh, beyond the the, uh, the the thought or the thing that's in the ni Cristo. Okay. <clears throat> Number three, spiritual leaders or godly leaders do not demand to be called teacher, to be called father. Okay? Number three, they also do not demand to be called leader. Sabi ni Christo, neither be called leader or instructor, for you have one instructor. You have one leader, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Leader, instructor. Of course, si Christo, siya po yung guide natin. He is our guide. He is our... Uh, in fact, in the book of Psalms, we can always uh, uh, read about, no, the Lord is my light, my salvation. The Lord is uh, lamp to my feet, the light to my path. He guides and He leads because we only have one spiritual leader and He is, <clears throat> in the true sense of the word, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lahat po tayo, mga kwan lang, ano? Mga, you know, we are just same in the family of God. Okay? We, of course, God has given us uh, the gift to lead, but the issue here is not, again, the gift. The issue is the attitude. Okay? Because those people who are leaders, they demand to be called leaders. They demand to be called instructors. Okay? And sabi ni Cristo, dapat hindi ganyan yung attitude ng mga totoong anak ng Diyos. Mga totoong leader ng Diyos. Well, yes, they lead, but they will never demand to be called such one. Never demand to be called teacher, never demand to be called father, never demand to be called leader. Pero nung dapat na attitude ng mga anak ng Diyos or leaders ng Panginoon? Pang-apat, and this is where the Lord Jesus Christ, this is the final point of the Lord. Nang bawat isa sa atin, godly leaders should not demand greatness. Ah, dapat ako malaki dito, ako si uh, ganito, ganyan. Sabi ni Cristo, the greatest among you shall be your servant. And that is always the case sa loob ng iglesia ng Diyos. Gusto mo mapagmalaki sa loob ng iglesia ng Diyos, dapat ikaw po ay magiging servant. Okay. Bawal ang manager sa loob ng iglesia. <laughs> ano pong manager? Manager, di ba? Turo ng turo. Ito, dapat gawin mo to. Ganyan. Para mga employer nyo. Ano? Ganito, ganyan. They are your manager sa loob ng bahay. Okay? 
Bakit? Eh kasi sila namin nagpapasahod sa inyo. Ano? Di ba? Kasi parang hindi din maganda pag employer mo siya na magtatrabaho, ikaw na magturo-turo. Ano? <laughs> oh, ma'am, kunin mo yun. Ano? <laughs> ma'am, paghihugas ito. Di ba? Although mayroong mga employers na tumutulong sa inyo, kagaya na sisteria, ano, tinutulungan sila mag... Uh, uh, magtulak ng sasakyan ano or maglinis magugas di ba but when we talk about the church of god the true church of christ no, with the leading uh, led by the true leaders of christ true leaders <clears throat> great leaders are always servants okay they are ser- servant leaders Hindi lang po sila nagli-lead, but they also serve. Paano sila nag-serve? Kung ano yung sinasabi nila, kasama din silang gumagawa. Okay. Whatever they say, they also do it. Di ba? Kung sa verses number, I think verse number 3 dito sa chapter 23, Yung mga Pharisees, they wanted to say, do this, do that, but they do not act what they say. Sabi ni Cristo, great leaders are not the ones who have doctorate, you know, not the ones who have PhD, not the ones who have uh, kung ano-ano pa no, sa kanilang mga buhay, but great leaders are always identified the way they serve. So, hindi lang po sila nagsasabi na, oh, gawin nyo to gawin nyo yan, pero kasama nyo silang gumagawa. Okay. Why? Because great leaders are not managers. Great leaders are servant leaders. Okay. The servant leadership. So, godly leaders do not demand greatness. Ah, dapat ako pastor dito. Kayo... mga susunod sa akin. Hindi ako susunod sa inyo. Dapat sundin niyo kung ano yung sinasabi ko. Bakit? Ako ang pinakamataas dito. Okay. Well, maybe sa, ano, no? sa organizational chart, di, kailangan natin yun. No? For the sake of, uh, of uh, leadership uh, point, ano? uh, may point out tayo. Pero, it doesn't mean na ikaw yung sa taas, no, hindi ka na bababa. No, or hindi ka na, for example, kung ikaw ay pinakamataas sa lahat, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka na magbuhos ng tubig sa toilet kung kailangan. No? <laughs> or hindi mo na kailangan maglinis. No? Kailangan pa rin. kung mayroong pangangailangan. Okay. Why? Because sabi ni Kristo, great leaders are servants. Bakit po? Kasi sabi nga ni Kristo, lahat tayo ay pari-pariyo lang sa harapan ng Diyos. All of us are brothers. Okay. Kaya lang, kustombre natin ng mga Pilipino na pag tao na mga mayaman or mga tao na mga nasa posisyon, sinisilbihan natin. Di ba? Pagpunta sa bahay, silbihan natin. Bakit po? Kasi mataas yung katungkulan sa gobyerno. Yung mga plato na hindi pa nagagamit, paggamit sa kanila. Yung mga uh, Mga sira-sira sa mga bata. Ano? Di ba? Na, na-experience ba yan sa bahay? Di ba? Yung mga tinatago ni nanay, ni tatay ng mga mga gandang uh, plato, kutsara. Doon lang yan. Sinong gagamit yan? Mga ipis. Ano? Doon sa parador. At saka, yung mga leaders or mga bisita later on na darating sa bahay, mga bisita, time ng kampanya, painumin sa ah, magandang kwan, no? magandang uh, mag, 
Okay? Pero kung wala silang nakatago, anong iniinuman? Sartin. <laughs> Sartin yung kulay puti na ta- tason, tawag sa amin tason. Ano? Na yun ang ginagamit. Tapos nangingitim pa sa gilid. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan ng safe, ano? Okay. Bakit? Yung mga magaganda, tinatago sa parador. Why? Because they are reserved for those who are in the position. Yung mga, basta bisita, no? Pero tayo. But that should not be, ano? Dapat, sabi nga natin, the best, uh, of course, para sa family natin. Okay? Para sa family natin. Kung anong kinakain ng family natin, eh, yun din yung kakainin ng mga bisita. Ano? Okay. Hindi pag may dumating, no? anak, pasok ka mo sa kwarto, may bisita. Ano? Andyan si pastor. <laughs> may pastor nagbisita sa sa bahay ng member. Eh, itong pastor naman, walang konsensya, walang konsensya. <laughs> Walang common sense na eh magalas dosin na nagbisita pa. Okay. Uh, isa sa mga itikita ng pastor tinuturuan na pag pag lunch time na wag na magbisita. Ano? Kasi ang mangyari doon pag nagbisita ka, yung pagkain ng membro mo bigay sa iyo, no? Bakit? Ganun yung kultura natin, di ba? Eh itong pastor, wag ko lang bakit siya nagbisita. Eh Ako po, bisita, ay, ano, oh, pastor, sige, kain na sana sila. Mga, mga anak, pasok muna kayo sa kwarto kasi andyan si pastor. Ano? So, tatlo yung anak niya, pag ang kanilang ulam, isang isda na, hindi naman, parang tilapia ata, na, na inihaw. Ano? Sabi ng mga, mga bata na ko, tapos. <laughs> so, pinakain mo si pastor. Yung mga bata, nakasilip lang doon sa may pintuan. Ano? <laughs> Eh, na nila yung... <laughs> Tingnan na yung pastor na kumakain. Ano? Tapos, tapos na siguro na kain ng pastor yung kabila. Ano? <laughs> Sumigaw yung bunso. Nay, binaliktad na! <laughs> Wala na silang ulam na baliktad na. Ano? Because that is our culture, ano? that is our, di ba, pag, uh, anong kultura ba natin yan? Hospitality, you know. We are hospitable. Okay, and that's why lahat ng mga magaganda sa bisita, lahat ng mga pangit, luma sa mga bata. Okay. So, lahat ay may mga magaganda sa mga great people. But that should not be, sabi ni Kristo. Those who are great among you are servants. Okay? So, for example, uh, ako pag nagbibisita ako, yung mga, may mga nanay talaga na ayaw nila ipa-join mga bata. Sabi ko, it's okay, no? Mag-join mga bata, ano? Just, we'll, we'll eat together, ano? Para, ba, para hin- wala akong makita na, na bata na magsilip sa pintuan, ano? <laughs> At sumigaw kay nanay na, okay? At least makita ng mga bata din ano um, yung magandang fellowship with with the leaders of God. But godly leaders do not demand greatness. Walang palak, walang palakihan ano sa iglesia ng Diyos. Lahat ay pantay-pantay. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ wanted. Panglima na makita natin dito. Godly leaders also do not demand exaltation. hindi sila magde-demand na i-exalt or ipat, ipakuan sila, na ipataas sila. Sabi ng verse, ng verse, ng verse 12, whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Sino pong mag exalt sa atin? Ang Diyos. Wag na wag mong i-exalt or ipataas yung sarili mo. Bakit? Kasi baka ibababa ka. Do not exalt yourself because you will be humbled. But just humble yourself because you will be exalted. Yun po yung palagi yung paradox ano, ng, ng uh, Christian leadership. Okay? 
Godly leaders are those who do not demand to be called teachers, those who do not demand to be called fathers, those who do not demand to be called leaders. Okay? They do not demand greatness. They do not demand exaltation. Why? Because God will do that for them. Ang Diyos po yung gagawa niyan para sa kanila. Okay? Yung sa atin lang, let's do what God has called us to do. Okay? But at the end of the day, our thinking is that all of us are brothers and sisters. We are all one family in the Lord. We just function based on what God has called us, but hindi tayo nagmamalaki sa bawat isa. Okay? Lahat po tayo ay pantay-pantay sa harapan ng Diyos. Sabi ni, ni, ni Dr. Constable, he said, he said this, what Jesus was condemning was seeking and giving honor that transcends what is appropriate. Kung hinahanap mo talaga yung um, honor, you know, kung yan po yung gusto mong sa buhay mo, no? bakit ka nagtitich? Kasi gusto ko i-honor ako ng tao. Bakit ka naglilid? Kasi gusto kong i-honor ako ng tao. That is a false attitude character ng isang leader. Okay? Let God honor you. Let God honors you. Let God um, exalts you. That is the bottom line. Since believers are all brethren, tayo po lahat ay magkapatid sa familia ng Diyos. Since God is our true spiritual father, and since Jesus Christ is our real teacher and leader, so therefore the teachers and leaders of God's people must remember that they are always fellow learners with the saints. They are still children of the Heavenly Father, and they are always subject to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So in the true sense of the word, lahat po tayo ay subject sa kay Kristo. Ako subject kay Kristo. Ikaw subject kay Kristo. Tayo, ako nagli-learn, ikaw nagli-learn. <clears throat> lahat po tayo ay pari-pariho lang. Okay. We will all be accountable to the Lord Jesus Christ later on. But of course, you know, God also is teaching us to respect those who are in the leadership. Okay? Not because we are leaders or we are the same uh, learners, hindi na natin i-respect yung bawat isa. We still respect one another based on the position that God has given us. So again, for us to understand this, this is not the issue of respect you know, to the leadership, but this is the issue of <clears throat> being mapagmalaki as leader ng Diyos. So yung, yung attitude na kinakandem is yung mapagmalaki. Yung personally na maghanap ka ng honor, yun, ito po yung kinakandem ni Kristo, which was sin <clears throat> sa buhay ng mga Pharisees and the scribes. So all of us are the same in the sight of God. All of us are members of the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, you belong to the family of God. Okay? You belong to the family of the Lord if you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. So Jesus uh, has given His life for us when He died at the cross of Calvary so that we can be part of His family. And that's the only way, you know. The only way to be, part, to be part of God's family is to accept and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus who died for us at the cross of Calvary. He gave His life for us. And because He died at the cross, that is the way He has forgiven all our sins. If today you are here, you have not yet accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Bad news is you are not part of the family. Good news is you can be part of the family of God by believing, accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay? Uh, to be part of the family of God is not by religion. Religion cannot save us. The only way that, can be, that we can be saved is by having relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that relationship can only be uh, with us, you know, can only be ours when we believe in Christ as our Lord and Savior. He died for us at the cross of Calvary. 
or maybe sa atin bilang mga anak ng Diyos, ano? Uh, as we are serving the Lord, as we are leading the Lord's people, let us not seek glory or honor, but let us seek to serve one another, to be humble before one another, before God, because we know God is the one who will exalt us. Let us pray.